Today we're going to look at CB radio using a software defined radio USB dongle that hooks up to your computer running GQRX. I got my magnetic loop antenna up there on my tower on like a satellite mount. So here's what I'm using for my uh, radio. I got the antenna coming in, going through this amplifier, going to this uh, converter, and going to the RTL doggle thing for the SDR radio. So this, these things are not actually, there's no driver or anything, it's just using a USB power source. And this thing has the driver to uh, run the RTL radio. So I use my MLA30 antenna to receive this. I put it up on my TV antenna tower so i just put it up on one of those satellite dish mounts and i used so there you can see a view of it with the over the air antenna or you might be thinking of one of these cb radios but what i'm actually talking about is a software defined radio so this is my sdr so with the sdr i can get the am radio frequencies so i got like 790 am with this equipment there's always tends to be some drift so I'm going to go by megahertz and not the meter bands because I'm trying to make these videos for people that are not, uh, that the, um, haven't been in like to amateur radio for, for all their life. This is like, you know, for new people that can get an understanding. So we got 790 AM and I can go all the way down. I just have like a bookmark of it here of the bands. So there's all the way up to CB channel 40. Here, I'll just bring this down here a bit. There we go. So I can get up pretty much up to 30 megahertz is what I can receive with this uh, these radios with using the there's someone talking there so someone's uh, just modulating up on uh, the uh, below uh, CB radio frequencies this would be known as the 10 meter band and then there's some uh, probably some skip in my area most of what I hear is skip although I do hear a few um, dump truck companies and I hear the truckers on channel 19 I live near a, a, a major highway here in Canada so I can't hear the uh, channel 19 stuff as well so with cb radio i've always noticed there's two types of people on cb there's the type of people that talk normal and then there's the type of people that talk like this hey, I don't know what So the one thing I like about this setup is I can go along the whole waterfall for all the CB channels and if someone keys up, say on 19 or over here, I can just go right to it. So that's kind of a nice thing. It can be quicker than a scanner and you can sort of see, you can see stuff that's on the uh, waterfall that you might not see on a scanner because I got one of those CB radios that will scan all 40 channels. It will go through that and maybe it might take one or two seconds to go through all the channels. I'll have a link in the description if you are looking for a radio like this and uh i know there's been people that have suggested some um somewhat better radios and my question there too is because i'm using gqrx i'd like to be able to get one that will work out of the box in linux like how this setup is i'm going to use some wording here that maybe not everyone will understand but i'll just go through this when you open up to try to get your radio to work, you want to go to your Realtek RTL, whatever, you know, this number thing here is. Set this to different frequencies. Now, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, everything was off frequency by, like, a lot. And I had it about... And now I have had to drop the LMB low frequency even more. So it's always kind of changing. So I'm not sure why that's done that. So one place to look... And Eric over at Fairpoint Farms pointed this out in one of his videos. And I thought it was a kind of open my eyes. Sideband 36. But over here, you can see what's going on on sideband. So there, I guess with uh, the upper sideband 
or sorry, no, lower sideband. There's a lot of people. Some people are using lower sideband as well. You just go here, and you can listen to people on channel 36 where they're doing some skip. They don't necessarily have a license, like an amateur radio license, but the, you know you, you can just buy a, 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 a sh signal sideband um, CB radio. So that's one thing I've discovered is there's a whole world in, on these channels and probably some other channels. You can let me know in the comment where people are talking and at a what times. <laughs> I'd recommend for this stuff too to give a look at for shortwave listening is the official SWL channel. He does a lot of live uh, live stream. He's very knowledgeable about shortwave radio. Has been listening to it most uh, for for decades. Nerd show. I, I recommend if you're interested in CB radios, Eric over at Fairpoint Farms. He's very knowledgeable about CB radios, and he gives a good explanation introduction. Um, uh, look at it. He has the same CB radio I have uh, that does like the 40 channel scan. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free to air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. If you want to watch a streaming service and you're in a country like Canada, certain programs are region blocked so you can't get it. You can use Express 
VPN, if you have a cell phone. So if you use public Wi-Fi, you tell it which uh, area you want to connect to in New York City, connect. So if you're using public Wi-Fi at Walmart, a restaurant, you really should be using a VPN. It will protect your private data and also it saves you a lot of money. It's a fraction of the cost of what a cell phone data plan is these days. So please check out my YouTube channel, Robbie Strike, and check out all the technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free to air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing neato things with computers.